have some official business to conduct concerning your recently boarded passenger. She gone. Damn it! Captain, we have to get to the bridge. I need to... Uh, we need to... Um... Oh, shit. If the ship's on lockdown... <gasps> Demi! Demi? Demi? Oh, no. She's gone. like saving your ass yet again I don't know who you are but are you sure you want to die over this pathetic loser you should be asking yourself the same thing wait did you just agree with her that I'm a pathetic loser <laughs> Fool. Be it. Let's do this! Oh, that's easy. I'm gonna put the bomb the Huntress left behind, along with a bunch of Obahunta's rockets in a shipping crate, and then duct tape a huge ass magnet to it. I'm Ha <laughs> 
Definition of good and mine might be a bit different, mate. Captain! request from our benefactor. They are quite insistent you speak with them. Oh, shit. This is bad timing. Can't you tell them I'm busy getting laid or something? I can try, but I sincerely doubt they would believe me. I suppose you're right. Very well. I'll talk. Senator Elrock. We initially refused to comply when the Imperium voted to shut down New Vegas. No one wanted to accept it. That all changed when the Imperium sent a fleet of warships to our planet. Hundreds of thousands of patrons started to take off in a panic. Ship after ship of them launched, knowing something terrible was about to happen. The party was well and truly over. I was on the ground when the panic set in. And I was in the air. It was the Battle of New Vegas. General Blythe was commanding our flagship, the SS Turbulence. The Imperium outnumbered us 7 to 1. We knew the second they made a move, we'd be fucked. What the Imperium didn't know is that Blythe had been preparing for this moment. A top secret defense grid was installed on New Vegas' moons, perfectly positioned to flank any fleet that approached the planet. The hour was drawing near, so Blythe opened fire. The Imperium's number were nearly cut in half before they knew the battle had even begun. Sometimes she'd talk about the other species that the Imperium put on their shit list. How she'd rather die than obey the Veil. That day, she sure as fuck proved she meant it. We all know how this story ends, but how did Blythe lose? There was another general, some prick named Willif. He negotiated a plea deal with the Imperium behind her back. He told them he wouldn't fight if the shooting started, but only if they saw to it that he got to rule over what was left. Willif, for obvious reasons, failed to mention any of this to Blythe. Without the expected reinforcements, the Imperium tore us apart. Blythe's ship took a hit and she was nearly killed. We surrendered, thought that was the end of it. Things got really quiet for a moment. Then we heard the cannons charging. Yep, that sounds just like the fucking Imperium. They get you to submit, and then they make you sorry for bending over. Did they? 
What happened? New Vegas was pretty much leveled. The only reason we weren't wiped out was Erak talking Casadora down. Afterwards, our planet was bombarded with Imperium propaganda, saying Blythe fired without orders and endangered us all. They made Willoth look like the diplomatic hero that saved all Solas from extinction. Blythe ended up clinging to life in a military prison infirmary. After she escaped, she founded the Requital. I heard she was using some kind of biomechanical AI soldiers, but I never figured they were manticores. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I've got Demi's location. I'm uploading the coordinates now. What? Promise, mate. I swear it. 